Yo, it's Glee Tool. It's your boy Dylan. Back another reaction. Today, we're reacting to Killer Mike Regan. We got like, oh, it's not Regan, it's Reagan, like Ronald Reagan. I just learned that most of this stuff that they've been talking about is about the presidents. Like, y'all been letting me know. Thank you. I said Regan, but it's Reagan. Yeah. So, um, this nigga Killer Mike is just a very intelligent guy. He told, or well, somebody told me that. One of his songs was, well, one of his verses or bars or something was about Trump, like, because he wanted to get reelected. But let's go and check out Reagan. He got a solo song, like Killer Mike by himself. No LP. He got two, two verses. I'm really excited for the chorus. This nigga got it. Crazy numbers right there. Look at this. Our government has a firm policy not to capitulate to terrorist demands. That no concessions policy remains in force. Wait. In spite of the one. Our government has a firm policy not to capitulate, capitulate to terrorist demands. Capitulate. That word is not in my vocabulary. Only speculative and false stories about arms for hostages and alleged ransom payments. We did not, repeat, did not trade weapons or anything else for hostages. Nor will we. The ballot of the bullet, some freedom or some bullshit. Will we ever do it bigger? Just keep settling for little shit. We brag on having bread, but none of us are bakers. We all talk having greens, but none of us own acres. That was fire. He said the ballot or the bullet, some freedom or some freedom or some BS. Will we ever do a big or just keep settling for little S? We bragging on having bread, but none of us are bakers. And then he said we bragging on having greens, but none of us own acres. Them last two bars right there, that was nice. None of us on acres and none of us grow wheat. Then who will feed our people when our people need to eat? So it seems our people starve from lack of understanding. Cause all we seem to give them is some ballin' and some dancing and some talk. He said our people starve because all we give them is ballin' and dancing. Because we ain't growing wheat. If none of us on acres, none of us grow wheat, we ain't gonna be able to feed our people. So our people gonna starve from a lack of understanding. Cause all we get them is some bowling. I feel like he talking about like the NBA. He ain't the first rapper I heard talk about like NBA. Cause like J. Cole even said is they only got but they only got twelve slots on the pistons. If you know that song, you like they these bars like correlate. But I don't know what he going with the dancing part, like who are I don't know. About our car and imaginary mansions. We should be indicted for bullshit. We inciting and the children deaf and Wait, I ain't gonna lie. I was not really, I was not just watching the video. I was reading the lyrics and listening because I've been trying to listen better because y'all be telling me like the, the lyrics be wrong. So I need to listen to it and I could point it out myself. But I was just reading the lyrics and this is what I seen. We should be indicted for bullshit we inciting And the children deaf and pretending it's exciting We are advertisements for agony and pain We exploit the youth, we tell them to join the gang We tell them dope stories, introduce them to the gang Just like our love of North introduced us to cocaine In the 80s when them bricks came on military plane Hang on, this nigga, he, he deep like I'm surprised they ain't tried to kill Killer Mike yet On some left eye type Nipsey Hussle type. We exploit the youth. We tell them to join the game. We tell them dope stories. Introduce them to the game. Oh no, he said tell them to join the gang. Then we in, we introduce them to a game by dope stories. Just like Oliver North. I don't even know Oliver North. Like he know like the OGs in the eighties when he came on military planes. So they was working with the U.S. And I don't even think it's a force, it's just another sense. Two months ago, I told the American people I did not trade arms for hostages. My heart and my best intentions still tell me that's true, but the facts and the evidence tell me it is not. The end of the Reagan era, I'm like Lemma 12 old enough to understand the shit that changed for Alpha. Right. So Killer Mike was against Reagan too, like he didn't agree with Reagan either. The end of the Reagan era. 
Yeah. And the war on drugs, like a war on terror. But what it really did was let the police terrorize whoever. But mostly black boys, but they would call us niggas. And right, that's crazy. But really, what if they declare a war on drugs, like a war on terror? Dang. And what it did was let the police terrorize whoever. But mostly black people, and they would call us niggas. Like, it's crazy. It's a cold world we live in. On our belly while they fingers on their triggers. They boots was on our head, they dogs was on our crotches. And they would beat us up if we had diamonds on our watches. And they would take our drugs and monies as they pick our pockets. I guess that that's the privilege of policing for some profit. But thanks to Reaganomics, prison turned to profit. Cause free labor's the corner. He just said Reaganomics. He just came up with his own word. Stone of US economics. Cause slavery was abolished unless you are in prison. You think I am bullshit and then read the 13th of. He said slavery was abolished. Unless you was in prison. And I ain't gonna lie. That's free labels. The corner store of U.S. economics. Because slavery was abolished. Unless you are in prison. Slavery abolished. Dang. People do be saying like. Involuntary servitude and slavery it prohibits. That's why they giving drug offenders time and double digits. Ronald Reagan was an actor. Not at all a factor. Just an employee of the country's real masters. Just like Dang. the Bush. I was just talking about industry plants too. Like he said, um, Reagan was an actor. Now he was not at all a factor. Just an employee of the country's real masters. An employee of the country. To me, that sounds like a industry plant. I still don't know what an industry plant is. Honestly, I could really just look it up, but that takes time. And and Obama, just another talking head telling lies on teleprompters. If you don't believe the spirit, then argue with this logic. Why did Reagan and Obama both go after Gaddafi? We invading sovereign soil, going after oil. Taking countries is a hobby, paid for by the oil lobby. Same as in Iraq. Taking countries, just taking a land to put oil. My teacher was talking about that today. Like how the city can buy your land from you. And like, if they feel like it's right, they can really just do it and you might have to take them to court. And sometimes you'll win and sometimes you won't. And Afghanistan and I'm a dinner jar say they coming for Iran. They only love the rich and how they love the poor. If I say any more, they might be at my door. I just said that. Like they trying to get rid of him too. Cause like that nigga is intelligent, he know too much. Surveillance on Mr. Michael Rinder. I'm dropping off the grid before they pump the lid. I leave you dropping off the grid. Off the grid by Kanye West is a fight song. That nigga, five year horn, did his thing. Like, his bar was long and he still, like, he snapped every single line. He did his thing. Thunder. For words, I'm glad Reagan did. This nigga sounds glad Reagan did. Ruthless, cold hearted. Then he finna say the middle name, y'all. And he finna say it six times. Man, I don't wanna hear him say that that many times. Like, come on now. But appreciate the person that requested this song. Like, this was a fire song. This nigga Killer Mike is smart. Like the video if you enjoyed. If you would like me to react to something, comment down below what you would like me to react to. Also, subscribe. Let's get to a thousand subscribers at a thousand. I'm doing a $50 giveaway. So, yeah, let's get to that. Make sure you have a beautiful day. And I'm out of here, man.